You're now at a point where you're thinking about the fields to add in order to get the data you want. This video will show you step by step how to create a field and how to integrate it from a solution. The best way to create and customize new fields is to go through a solution. This allows you to keep track of who did those customization in your Dynamics 365 CRM. So for the first step, click on settings and choose solutions. This is the complete list of solutions already present in your Dynamics 365 CRM. To create our fields, we'll use the solution Event Manager. We now must identify which entities we want to integrate our new field into. The field will be linked to this form. For the demo, we will create this new field inside the account entity. Here we can see different sections of the solution editor. Point number one shows the account entity. Point number two are all the fields that we find inside the account entity. Point number three is what we can see in the available field list. You can see all the fields, the customizable fields, and the fields that you have already customized. Point number four represents the different things you can do with the field list. You can create a new field, delete a field with an unmanaged state, modify an existing field, and another action that allows you to display fields, dependencies, and manage properties. These last two topics will be explained more in details in an upcoming video because it requires its own training. So for this demo, we'll click on the new button and we'll create a field called interest that will allow us to generate list of accounts that are interested in participating in our events. It's important to note that if you create a field in the account form, the same field will have to be recreated in all other entities. What you are currently seeing on your screen is the field creation interface. Here's a point by point explanation of this interface. Point number one, we find a complete name of the field as it appears in the form. Point number two, here we define if the field is optional, so it can remain empty. Business recommended, it can stay empty, but it's strongly recommended that it be filled. Business required, which means this form won't be saved if the field remains empty. The name of the field is the identification of the field in the SQL database. We see that the prefix is GS, so this field will be noted as one created by GestSuff. Point number four states if the field can be found in queries. Point number five, field security is the option to make this field available according to the level of security of the user. Point number six, auditing, define if the field can be audited. Point number seven, description of the field function. Point number eight, activation of the field in a global filter of the user interface. This is an improved interface of the CRM that maintains the same user experience and screen layout in your CRM, whether you are on PC, tablet, or mobile. Point number nine, activate availability, whether the field is sorted in the interactive experience dashboard of the user interface. Point number 10, the data types that we can enter in the field. In this case, we have chosen two options, yes or no. Point number 11, field type. Depending on the data type, you can have the choice between simple, calculated, and cumulative. Point number 12, we find the options users can use to fill in the field. In this case, the user can choose yes or no. Point number 13, the option editor. You can decide which option is presented first. In this case, no is offered first in a two option list it's possible to modify these choices. Point 14, you can set the default value of the field. When you are done customizing, remember to save the field. So you have created your field interest. Now you need to insert it inside the main account form by double clicking on it. We are now inside the form editor. To learn more about this editor, I recommend watching our video that expands on this subject, how to create or modify a form in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Go to the right column named Field Explorer and you'll find all the available fields that can be added to the form. It's important to note that a field can be added once in the header, in the body, and the footer. Once added, it disappears from the Field Explorer. You can filter so the list shows all the fields or just the fields that you have customized. There's two ways to add a field in a Microsoft Dynamics 365 form. The first way is by dragging and dropping the field from the list. The second way is to click on the section where you want to add the field. The section will be framed in blue once you've selected. After that, you just need to double click on the field 
it will be added to the last line of the section. In conclusion, when you decide to create a field, you need to ask yourself these questions. What type of information do I want to get? Is there already a system field that meets my need? Is this a field that needs to be filled in an optional or mandatory way?